Chinese tech giant DJ recently introduced its latest flagship cargo drone, the Flycart 100, FC-100, at a high-profile event in Shenzhen. Building on the success of the Flycart 30 launched in August 2023, the FC-100 is designed to serve demanding industrial and emergency logistics missions. DJI highlights its versatility for roles such as firefighting support, power infrastructure maintenance, maritime transport, and rapid delivery in hard-to-reach areas. The FC-100 can carry up to 80 kg on a single battery and 65 kg when operating with dual batteries, with a maximum takeoff weight capped just under 150 kg. Its robust coaxial rotor design features eight large 62-inch carbon fiber propellers powered by upgraded motors, each capable of producing 82 kg of thrust. The drone boasts an impressive unloaded range of 26 kilometers and can operate at altitudes up to 6,000 meters, with practical service altitudes around 1,500 meters. At a 3,000 meter elevation, it carries 70 kilograms on one battery or 50 kilograms on two, charging fully in just nine minutes thanks to DJI's advanced DB2160 battery system. These batteries offer hot swapping capability, thermal management, and longevity for up to 1,500 recharge cycles. Safety and obstacle avoidance are paramount in the FC-100's design, featuring a sophisticated sensor suite including a high-speed LiDAR, millimeter wave radar, and a panoramic 5-camera fisheye system for full 360-degree awareness. A parachute system activates at heights above 80 meters to safely lower the drone and payload in emergencies, using multiple redundancies to counteract failures from signal loss or electromagnetic interference. Control is managed through DJI's RC Plus 2 remote with a bright 7-inch display and a video link range up to 20 kilometers via DJI's O4 transmission protocol. Additional options like 4G video modules and D-RTK3 relay stations enhance connectivity in challenging environments. Operators can leverage the DJI delivery app and centralized delivery hub for mission planning, fleet management, and augmented reality guidance. Though marketed strictly for civilian and industrial use, the FC-100's capabilities mirror those of heavy lift drones increasingly adopted by military forces worldwide. Hexacopters and multirotors capable of carrying tens to hundreds of kilograms are now integral in battlefield logistics, autonomous resupply, and deployment of tactical equipment. Countries including the US, Russia, and the UK have developed rotary wing drones with payload capacities overlapping the FC-100's performance, some even repurposed for direct combat roles or munition delivery. Non-state armed groups have also adapted similar drones for improvised strikes, demonstrating the blurred line between commercial and military UAV technologies. This dual-use dilemma is especially visible in the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Despite DJI's 2022 suspension of sales to both Russia and Ukraine, DJI drones, primarily from the Mavic line, have seen widespread deployment by both sides for reconnaissance, artillery spotting, and operational footage. DJI's aeroscope tracking system sparked controversy for allegedly enabling Russian forces to detect Ukrainian drone operators, leading to its discontinuation amid persistent concerns. Since Russia's 2022 invasion, drone usage surged dramatically. Ukrainian forces publicly solicited civilian drone donations, and international volunteers contributed significant funds to acquire DJI units. Estimates in mid-2023 placed drone losses at around 10,000 per month due to countermeasures like jamming. By late 2024, over 1.5 million UAVs had been supplied to Ukrainian forces, including large batches of DJI Mavic 3E and 3T models valued at tens of millions of dollars. Decentralized procurement by local military brigades complemented these centralized efforts. Meanwhile, Russian forces also acquired vast numbers of DJI drones, reportedly over 100,000 units through third-party suppliers, supplementing their aerial reconnaissance and targeting capabilities. In response to restricted direct sales, both combatants developed alternative supply chains and ramped up domestic UAV production. Ukraine prioritized local manufacturing, funneling most drone funding to homegrown producers, many of whom introduced Mavic-style quadcopters despite technical challenges replicating DJI's sophistication. 
Russia similarly sourced drones from nations like Kazakhstan, China, and the UAE while advancing domestic production of Iranian-designed Shahid UAVs and other models. DJI's FC-100 launch underscores how advanced commercial drones are becoming pivotal tools beyond their original civilian scope. As drone technology evolves, the gap between industrial applications and battlefield utility continues to shrink, highlighting the complex implications of powerful UAV platforms in today's geopolitical landscape.